Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemanly ladies and the netizens, cheers, welcome to oh my coffee. with dragon cheers we're having a cup of coffee raw black cuban and today we want to discuss shopping on a budget shopping when in a financially precarious situation and living on a budget and buying and stuff like that first want to say that have lived financial up and downs throughout my life have experienced poverty have experienced financial precariousness and as i'm speaking i'm looking for financial opportunities employment and of course supporters who can help monetarily today I had a budget of $22 in order to purchase some clothing and of course went to a second-hand store needless to say that went a little bit over budget and I'm sure 99% of us usually do when we go shopping and we intend to spend a certain amount of course the question is by how much do we go over budget and the x and y factors of shopping as you know coffee with dragon is questions questions and questioning the questions and so of course it depends on one's capital that is on one's finances money that can spend in a given day, a given week, a given month, and of course, semi-annually, biannually, or on a yearly basis. When in a difficult financial situation, unemployment, receiving unemployment benefits, welfare, social assistance, or working minimum wage, of course, it is hard to afford the best clothing and such items that are needed around the house cleaning items the daily of course consumer items which the consumer items are of course the food of course coffee and all the other extras do consider myself uh, my do consider myself do consider that coffee is a uh, a consumer item that is a necessity you might argue with that but uh, here in um, Montreal, North America, the beautiful island of Montreal, metropolis, North America. There is the dollar store, of course, where affordable coffee can be bought for $1.25, $1.50, $2, and even $3 for the bigger packs. As I've stated, I have uh, experienced financial up and downs throughout my life and now the present moment do live in um, what would say poverty financial uh, precariousness and looking for employment and other financial opportunities and of course any contribution that you can give may be returned to you threefold in kind for continuing the uh, middle post videos of coffee and discuss of course topics of the day topics of the past social political economic financial emotional spiritual and scientific like last time we discussed the uh, space program and how in one of my magazines from national geographic from october 1986 the uh, discussion surrounded the Soviet space program and of course the title of the um, the uh, article was um, do the Soviets have the Soviets one in space 
and of course it details the extensiveness of the Soviet space program which of course was very extensive very well funded for more than three decades and how they launched at one point for a few years 40 times at one point I believe so I'm gonna double check the facts more rockets rockets than the Americans of course back this was back in the 70s and 80s of course so that was last topic this topic again let's so I do not digress too much living on a budget let's pose a few questions the most difficult thing when you're on a budget is of course that you cannot afford everything that you desire you of course can afford perhaps everything that you really that you need but not necessarily everything that you want if we can summarize how financial life and financial situation is when person citizen lives in a financially precarious situation or in a difficulty um, in terms of finances Let's take care of the needs the daily bread the of course the necessities of living a decent life such as the items household items such as soap and um, consumer items for eating of course and would even add to that of course the minimum amount of clothes you have to buy at least um, socks they wear and tear of course and and the such this could be a long long discussion and of course case by case and socioeconomics and other factors do do come into play when discussing uh, budgeting and living in and budgeting with a minimum amount of financial capital but the premise or the summary is that um, we do tend to overspend another factor of course which comes into play is debt and specifically debt really to all is not bad in itself however what is negative for a person especially one who's not wealthy living in a financially difficult situation working minimum wage not making you know even middle class people nowadays of course more and more since the financial crisis of course and of course brothers and sisters either you can negate or accord this fact or not but since the financial crisis in when started in late July 2007 and it aggravated in 2008 with the bailout of the banks and the panic and the wiping out of trillions of dollars of course by the toxic financial instruments which were sold on the market to not savvy and not knowledgeable real average joe investors low income and middle income who had really no idea what they were investing in and of course these were toxic uh, financial instruments which are were called the cdos the collateralized debt obligation which were in short the selling of bad debt that people had on their mortgages that the mortgages millions of mortgages were given out without proper responsibility from the financial institutions and, and banks and other minor medium and major players will not digress into that but just to make a link that the middle class was affected severely at least in North America and throughout the Western world and that some have argued that it has shrunk the middle class and that if precautions or measures are not taken to reverse the situation the middle class is on its verge of extinction which of course is a terrible and horrible societal state to live with only 99 percent poor and one percent owners and wealthy plutocrats 
so that is pretty dystopic some go as far as to say that it's uh, it's happening and uh, that do leave it up for discussion open question question is solutions what can we do about it budgeting is hard it's not easy but if one can follow just certain guidelines or certain premises if you will or certain principles say well this is what I have I'm not gonna go into debt because not necessarily debt like we said is bad or negative but if we do end up paying interest of whatever per percent on that debt then of course that takes from from the wealth from the capital which we would be able to spend on consumer goods on clothes food rent and other such items of course so debt credit I'm a fierce advocate of regulated interested credit and will not go into that theory which I've written several years ago but credit in itself is very good and can lift people out of poverty even people to start a business and endeavor entrepreneurship or creative endeavors which could of course lead to making a living out of it as myself I'm trying of course to do and millions of others of course but the bad part is paying of course too much interest and you hear horror stories of 25 percent interest and such or well not going into the, the, the compound interest because that is a crime against humanity and civilization in my opinion but <laughs> anyways there's of course elements to that as well so my question is budgeting do you stick to a budget do you have a budget what are the principles of a budget how do you devise a budget myself can say simply one can divide it into two basic elements the basic necessities one rent if you have to pay electricity or whatever food items and clothes for weekly monthly or by or two months three months or a whole year usually monthly let's say rent and food you can make an estimation and then you have a budget and then you have the extra so so really if you're operating just for yourself as an individual as a household it can really be divided into two with an extra additional third um, aspect or of the budget which can be extra expenditures or it could actually be extra additional income something happens you did something you unexpected you receive a check or you get a debt which you loaned to a friend seven years ago and he remembered that he owed you a hundred dollars or you win the lotto a hundred dollars and of course it adds to your capital part one budget coffee with dragon your brother your sister world citizen unemployed at the moment healing join us in our other endeavors world citizens gym public poetry project